Hello, it is Friday, <clears throat> Friday. <clears throat> I didn't want to do a live today because my throat is still very sore and raspy. Um, but since I am cooking dinner, I figured I would um, try to do a pre-record. And if you guys get to see this video, then it's because <clears throat> I was able to get through it without hacking up a lung. Um, and if not, and, and I was able to edit the different um, pieces of the video together effectively. So, um, what I'm making tonight is a pork roast and roasted potatoes in my Ninja Foodie. Um, I'm going to stay off camera because I don't want to have to sit here and adjust the levels of the camera back and forth and back and forth um, as much as possible. Um, so, what I've got going down here is chopping up my potatoes. I've already chopped up two, so I'm gonna do my third one. I have peeled these ones. Um, these are plain white potatoes with white skin, um, which are the potatoes that I can eat skin on without a problem. However, um, this is the last of my potatoes and the skins were kind of drying out. So um, I peeled them instead. I'm just cutting these in cubes because they'll go around around the roast. So cutting in cubes, I cut the potato in quarters this way. And then I cut in thirds this way. And then I just cut, turn it and cut it in cubes. Now a trained chef would look at these and go, you know, you're, you're not even, your cubes are all of different sizes, blah, 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 blah. And just like that, I have knocked my camera off the counter. With my own hands. <laughs> Still recording. Sorry about that, guys. I tried to pick up my bowl of potatoes, caught the edge of my phone, and set my phone flying. So as I was saying, I'm not cooking for professionals. I don't care if my potatoes are uneven, doesn't matter to me. So I put them in a bowl and I just do a simple, um, a simple seasoning on my potatoes. Doing them in the, in the foodie, you don't need a whole lot of oil. Um, you don't really need oil at all, honestly. Um, it's kind of the benefit of, of the Ninja Foodie is that you're able to cook with either without oil or with minimal. I totally should have added my seasonings before I did that. Hot water soap. So on my potatoes, I'm using garlic salt, coarse ground with parsley in it. It's our favorite garlic salt in the house. And Hot Shot Extra Bold Pepper Blend. Also the favorite in the house. Um, it is a mixture of black and red peppers. Yummy. It uh, doesn't take a lot. It's got some good spice to it. And that's really all I do for the potatoes. Should have a bowl. I mean, should have a spoon out. And again, if I was uh, being critiqued by professionals, I'd be getting yelled at right now for using my hands rather than a spoon. For not having gloves on, probably. But I have hot water and soap right behind my right behind my camera. So I will be washing my hands in between. Simple roasted potatoes. So I'm gonna set those off to the side for now. 
dry rub for the pork roast. This is a tablespoon of garlic, a garlic herb mix. So there's a little bit of garlic, a little bit of salt, and some um, green herbs. So I used, again, the slart, Lowry's, Lowry's, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, green, um, garlic salt, and I just added um, just a pinch of Italian seasoning mix into it. Teaspoon of onion powder. Teaspoon of chili powder. And again, because I love that black pepper, that hot shot pepper, add a little bit on there, just for a little kick. Give that a mix, stir around. I'm bring my, my foodie basket over here where it's within reach. <coughs> <coughs> Now one of the things that I really like about the foodie, my pork roast is only about half defrosted. So this whole bottom half is still frozen. But cooking in the foodie, it doesn't matter. <laughs> because it's a high, um, the way that the heat moves around within the equipment, it doesn't matter if your food is frozen. You can go straight from frozen if you really chose to. So all I'm doing is kind of moving this around in the, in the seasoning, trying to get all the sides seasoned up. Now one of the things the recipe says you can do, which uh, I think I'm going to just because I'm having some, having some difficulty getting my seasoning to stick is I'm going to add a little bit of oil to the roast. Um, this will also help it be a little more crispy when it cooks because again you're kind of frying it in a way if you put oil on it versus just a straight bake. All right, all seasoned up. And it goes into my foodie basket. Now the, the foodie, the recipe on this one for the size um, roast that's here, bacon roast, bake roast on 390. So you're gonna set it to bake and roast 390 degrees and you're gonna preheat it for 10 minutes. I should go this way. <laughs> See the front. Excuse the farting of the machine. Just going to do a quick little wipe up here. Got seasonings everywhere. Now because that, so the potatoes, when I when I do the when I roast them in my foodie, um, I usually roast the potatoes at 350 and it takes about 35 minutes so for every degree you go up you decrease five minutes of cook time so I'm going up to 390 because I need to match the time um, for the roast okay so I'm going up 40 degrees which is one two three four eight 
can't do that math. And I, mis I misspoke. It's every 25 degrees you go down five minutes. Um, so I'm going to, once this preheats, I'll do the first 15 minutes on the roast, flip it, and then I'll add the potatoes in and cook it till everything is done, which will probably take another 20, 25 minutes or so. Some people might be looking at this and going, it's just meat and potatoes. It's just meat and potatoes. My family and I, we are a meat and potatoes, um, especially me and my husband. Um, he's a super picky eater, doesn't like a whole lot of um, vegetables and stuff, so it's hard to find ones um, that he will eat. However... Tonight we will be having corn to go with our dinner, and when I cook this up, I will add garlic and butter while it's cooking. Are you catching the theme here? Garlic. 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 We don't have a problem keeping vampires away at all. <laughs> And that actually cooked up or prepared up a lot quicker than I expected. So dinner um, is going to be done way before my husband gets home. So I think what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to go ahead and um, and stop this portion of the video because again, I don't want dinner to be done a full hour before um, before the other half of the household gets home. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this and I'll come back to filming around four o'clock and get this all put, a, put into the foodie um, and I'll film those steps as we're going along. All right. So tune in for the next segment. Thank you. Okay. So the next round is starting. We have five minutes left on this preheat. So I'm going to work on getting the pork ready to go in, and then we'll pause again. All seasoned up. So the, the pork will cook for 15 minutes in the foodie, and then I'll flip it. And once I flip it, then I'll add the potatoes in and stick it back in the foodie for another, hold on, I gotta do that math. I gotta think about this because the potatoes usually take about 30 minutes to cook and the roast should take about 35 minutes to cook. If I put the potatoes in now, it's gonna be very challenging to flip the roast. <coughs> but the roast will need to rest before I can cut it. So do 15 minutes, flip it, add the potatoes, do 20 minutes, do 15 minutes, check the temperature. If the roast is done, I'll pull it out and rest it while the potatoes finish cooking. There we go. Took me a minute to like brain myself around that. Kind of like, you know, get the process going. I dislike this preheating part. I'm really impatient and I want to just open the lid and get it going.
So I'll also be posting posting the recipe on my community tab. I'll probably do that while um, while the food is cooking. Okay, yes, I'm impatient. I'm impatient, I will own it. So in goes, in goes the meat. And burn my fingers. So this will go back on bacon roast, 390. Oops, 15 minutes. So we'll be back in 15 minutes to give this a flip, add the potatoes in, and get her back in for another 15 minute cook time. Stay tuned. So 15 minutes has gone by. I'm gonna flip this over. centered again as best we can. Add the potatoes. You hear that sizzle as the oil goes through the basket and hits the hot pan underneath. Very hot. Cut. Okay. We're going to set this for another 15 minutes. And then we'll come back and take the temperature of our pork roast. Gauge. Um, so pork should be roughly 165. So I'm gonna go this. This little gauge has this really cool, so you can set it to where you want it, and then your arrows will come together. 165 is about there. So in 15 minutes, we'll come back. We'll check the temperature of the roast. And also check the doneness of the potatoes. Stay posted. We are good.
dinner is served.